All right, guys, welcome back. Um, this is episode two of our project, or Dyson Sphere project, Home the Galaxy. So let's play through Gilio. Um, as I said, I would, I went through and did all the research that I could possibly do in both trees. Um, and now it's time for us to actually get into oil and making our uh, red science. So, um, if I remember correctly, the first thing that we're really just going to need is coal. Just a lot, a lot of coal for the energetic graphite. Um, and there is a coal mine up here, which I, all I did was put a mine on it. I didn't connect it up to anything. But what we're going to do is we're going to split this into two parts. We're going to put some of it for power, because we still need power, we're still low when this thing is fully running. Um, and then after that, the other half will go towards making the energetic graphite for the red signs. So just let me clear some of this uh, maker, I guess, up. So that way it's out of the way. And we have plenty of space to build on. Because we're going to need it. Alright, so... Uh, where is it? Yeah. So when we were, when I did all the researches, it gave me a whole bunch of this. Uh, like, a bunch of the materials for it. So that's why I have a bunch of stuff. Splitter with four directions. It can split the I turned you off. When putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is I turned you off. Why is it telling me tips I already it went over last time? It is really annoying me. Power will just go up here somewhere, and then the rest of it will go down. Uh, let's make as many as we can. We need iron. Uh, yeah, one of the things I got was flights. That's really nice. Um, I think I made a very small steel factory just to make some steel for some of the researches and for myself. And I think that was literally all I did. I just sat here in the middle of research is finished. Um, so we'll start with six. I think that'll be a good uh, starter starting point. Thermal power station. Such power facilities need to consume chemical energy fuels. If you wanted to generate continuous and stable power, you need to ensure a sufficient fuel supply at all times. Yes, thank you. Um, this little trick, in case you didn't know, you can just feed from one uh, thing to the other, so you don't have to set up front of dots, which is really nice to go to do. Come on, Jones. You should be building faster. There we go. And that is upgraded power. Oh, I'm gonna make that. So you have these. done building the first power transmission facility, Tesla Tower. It can carry I out literally, short distance wireless power. I literally told these artists. I guess this game is a little bug, so it is early access, um, by the way, in case you didn't see that. But it is early access, which makes it, uh... You built a wireless power tower. Um, so these... These towers actually recharge your mech with excess power from the grid, which is really, really nice. 
And the axe is like a long range power transmitter. So you zero on that. Which is really, really nice. Oh, wait, I should be bringing up the belt so I can up this way. Um, actually, let's just make energetic stuff now. God, I need to go get more gears and all of the resources, pretty much. Some of that. Give me all those. Give me all those. Okay, okay, there we go. Now we have some resources. Um, so, red science is not that much more difficult than blue science, except that it includes oil. Um, but overall, I haven't. Oil was not that big of an issue, I found. Uh, where are you in? Oh, you're smelting. Okay. I see. I see. I actually have some of those already. It's even easier. You okay. built a smelter. Which oh, that's another thing we have to do. Is you just have to set up these iron stone smelting and copper ingots automatically. While you want to make the raw materials and products. I found that this, just these two smelters, is enough to basically do all the smelting, at least to uh, break even with that. You already have. So now we can bring the belts up. This big long belt. Um, part of the research is, was getting extra drones, so that is very helpful. Really coming in handy right now. Right. Now we need to find oil. So there is some oil around here. There's no oil nearby. In the planet view mode, you can hold down the middle mouse button. I, I thank you. I, I, I swear I have that turned off. I swear oh. I have the tips turned off. Yeah. I don't know why it's continuing to be an issue. Um, but here we have oil over here. We'll probably end up uh, taking it and then just sending it over the ocean in a big belt. Not really much else we can do that way. And we'll probably bring it in through here and down here. Um, do some actually, I want to bring coal here. And we can do the oil stuff there. So that's what we'll do. We have the uh, graphite, that was actually pretty easy, we always need the hydrogen, and hydrogen we get from refining oil. Uh, we only get one hydrogen though, so we do need, uh, I think, four refineries running. Um, and we have to worry about the refined oil, because we don't actually have anything that really requires it this very instant, because we don't, we only need the hydrogen in the, uh, the graphite or red science. Uh, so I think I'll just end up burning it to start in a uh, thermal plant. It'll help get rid of a little bit of it um, and we can store it for us. What I need to make right now is some oil extractors. I need more. I only have for you. Prisons. I need stone. Okay. 
I guess we'll do that right now. Let's up with some basic stone smelting. Because that is also actually you know what? I'm gonna hit that here. And I will be back when I get just a basic stone smelter up. And there we go. We got some very basic stone smelting. Um I had to go a little ways away, but there's so many bases there. Uh kinda have to take use of these uh better power transmitters or the long range ones at least. Um we have mine in stone, it's turning into glass and stone bricks. Um, and, and there's an iron mine, or iron vein really close by, so I decided to make some foundations, because they are very useful to have, so we're going to need them sometimes. Um, so I did that as well, I did those right there. It needs to go faster. Um, but yeah, we have that now. Um, we just grab some of the glass. Um, I can't remember, we were making these. There's, there's three mines over there that we have one already. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I'm just going to drag these down a little bit. I don't really know what I'm going to use them for just yet. Uh, we don't really need them, really, as of right now. And we absolutely will. We will need the glass for uh, making these uh, prisms. Which are one of the key ingredients for plasma exciters, which are used in a lot of this oil refinery stuff. But yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. See these foundations here? Foundation. Made, there's 23 of them, leveling but that's all I am doing. So we have, when we have oceans like that, it's going to take thousands upon thousands of foundations to do that. So that's why I want to move islands. Or move planets. Just completely move. We'll go somewhere that's flat, nice and buildable, and we'll be all hunky dory. So I'm gonna bring these over at least a little closer. And that way we don't have to worry about bringing them over later when we do need them. Then do eventually need them. Um, and then I need. This area out. There. Insufficient required items. You can click the You're gonna tell me how the bottom right of the screen to You're gonna tell me there. You're gonna tell me how to not blow on all really. I, I don't know what happened, but it is continuously telling me the tips I've already heard time and time again. I don't know why. It's really, really annoying. But there we go. We have a basic stone smelting. Now it's time to go get that oil. And we're gonna need a lot of it. So where is it? There's one, there's one, where's the last one? I thought there's three over here. No, that's really far. Um, but I guess we can do it. We'll get all, we'll get all three of them going. That, like that, and then the last one. When being outside of building range, you can hold down the ship. I don't care. This man can stop talking. I wish he would. There. So not like that. And we'll bring it over here. This is going to take a while to build. Um, so I'm gonna cut this again, but essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all the oil and I'm just gonna bring it over to the other island. Alrighty, so there we go. I got the oil over. Um, what I did was I just took them all up individually, ran some power lines to them. And then the only interesting part was over the water. It was actually too far to get um, one power pole across. So I just had to put Basically, an island in the middle for your parents or uh, pole there. But other than that, it just goes across the ocean and then it ends up right here, right where we want it to be. So now that we have that done, we can actually start working on some oil, uh, which I'm going to need some refineries. Uh, 
Well, then you got me cracks. Man, you do it like glass. Yeah, flying is pretty nice. It's a lot faster than walking. Believe it or not. And you can go over the water. You don't have to walk around it. So I want to get at least two more of these. And then I have a storage they gave me. That's right here. And I want to at least store this. You built a storage tank. Cool, thank you. I just want that to fill up pretty much. Uh, it'll be idle storage so that way if we ever use increased production to the point where we are using more than that, we won't run out immediately. We won't run into problems like that. Um, it is really strange though how the liquids in this game are just like little jello blocks that run along the conveyor belt. I don't know why they thought that was how they wanted to do uh, liquids instead of like just fighting it. But that's what we got. We got little jello cubes of oil coming down the line. A really good rate too. It's at whatever the max rate of this belt is. Which is six a second, so ends up at sixty what? Three hundred and sixty a minute. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So then what we want to do is just run a little little belt out here like this. Um gonna have to use some platforms here. Let's get rid of the water. Annoyingly, oh I'll need a power. I have I want one more of these just to place next to me. So I don't have to honestly go to get power. So I don't have any fuel right now on me. I don't really want to get fuel. I would prefer it if I didn't have to. We just do that, and then we have power days. Alright, so we need a uh, well. So setting up oil is really funky because it makes two outputs, but there's no like front side. Um, you can only output on three sides or input or output on three sides. So you either put them lengthways like this or you have to run like a tiny little belt in between pack oils in order to feed them. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run little belts. I get the belt through there. This facility will produce multiple products. To divide them, you need to set a filter on the sorter. You can use tab or the arrow keys on the right side of the keyboard to quickly set the filter when building the sorter. Yes. I got, I got it. Thank you. You go in that mess. Um, so can we go in there? We can go in. Lack of, uh, lack of item. Can I not? Give me a whole lot of there. So these need to be that, and it's like left there. Um. So the idea is that we do this, put it under there. I just need to go that way. And then we need to go in, and we need to go in. Awesome. And then we just do one of these here. I don't think these are going to use enough oil. There we go. And you're running. 
So I want to make sure that this thing can actually transport enough materials to fill both of these up and keep them full. I'm not sure about it. I will just do the advanced ones. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. I don't want any running out of oil here. Dang, that is really loud. Okay. I'm gonna need a little bit more foundation on this water over here, so I'm gonna go grab that. Uh, if you see, it is really slow to make, so you need a lot of, a lot of resources. You need a lot of resources. I need to cover all this water. Much. Yeah, I think that's it. Yep, that we're out. So that's fine. I think that'll be good enough for me. And then. Uh, perfect. Perfect. And then we'll do the same thing here. one there and then that should be ready to go all right so the reason i did it that way this way is because it makes it a lot easier to get the items out of the building if you can actually uh, need. i want um let's do refined oil there No, I, hang on, it's wrong. Stop it. And I messed it up already. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, and if you case you didn't know, you can burn all of the coal and stuff in your inventory if you really need it. Just like that, perfect. Everything is covered now. Yep. That's a really simple way to do oil. Um, it is very annoying because the oil buildings only have input on three sides. You can't just go right through it unless you were to put them wide, wise, you know. Uh, which makes it kind of annoying to build, but we have this setup right here, which is actually really nice, really compact, at least in my opinion it is. But now we can actually finally make bread signs. So I'm going to take this out here just for now. We might end up expanding this, I'm not really sure. But this will need to come here. Uh, it will need stored. And then burn. It will, it will, we will uh, up on it. If we don't. I'll worry about that in a second. Actually, I have a single I have a single one of these, so actually that will work. Because this has to go out to a bell first. And then we can do it. Your production awesome. call count has reached a certain scale. Now click the statistics panel button at the bottom right corner of right, we'll do that. We'll do that in a second, sir. Thank you for your input. Uh, we need power. Just need a little bit of power, and then we have everything we need. So we can make... Uh, that's up there. Perfect. We just need to make some labs. So we actually need four of these, because they have half the build speed of the red or the blue. See, so yeah, six seconds is, instead of three seconds. we got to make four of them, which is not that big of a deal. We should have enough production in order to do that. 
Um, we charged up now. Good enough. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make this go the other way. Get about to run through there. Nice. I just want to do that because we have the uh, the graphite right there, so might as well make it next to each other. Make it super easy. So then we have four of these. Which how do I want to do this? Um, let's go like this. So like this, there's like that perfect. And then you do need, you need two of each, that doesn't really matter. So we will do that, 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 that. And then we will get power in here like that. Might have to speed those. I think we will. So we need just two. Just like that. Perfect. That way we can get enough of the resources in there. And then they need to come out, of course. And then they need to get them in, of course. Use the pass from there. And that is red signs. All done. Um, there is a better way to make the this stuff. The advanced recipe, which we'll unlock eventually, is essentially free if you can set it up correctly. Um, it take all it takes to produce is two hydrogen and one oil, um, but you get an extra hydrogen out of it as well as the energetic graphite. So as long as you um, backload the extra hydrogen into the system, it's almost free. All you have to do is put in oil, um, and then of course you have to load it with the hydrogen to begin with. Um, yes. Um, but that is our red science, and so I think I'm gonna do maybe a similar thing to the last time. Um, at least I will go through a lot of the researches. I won't go through all of them this time because it's going to get far more advanced. We have to build a lot more things, and I don't want to waste the extra time. And we are low on power again. It seems that we are low on power every time we hit those labs on. Um, so let me recharge real quick, and then I guess we can burn some more of this oil. Because we don't have a use for it yet. Oh wow, I have a whole bunch of hydrogen on me. Let me put this in here. Hydrogen is actually valuable. Um, so there we go with that. Let me get one more of these down. This isn't gonna fix our problems, but it'll... actually, it probably won't even help like, at all, except just get rid of the oil. There we go. Jesus. Um. God damn it! Need more of these. That's something we're gonna have to automate soon. We're gonna have to automate all of the basic stuff. Um. There we go, just a tiny bit more power, still only at like 74% satisfaction. Which is not very good at all. Nope, oh, nope, stay here. Um, I mean, a big part of that right now, 
my it's even like 50% is because I'm taking up a bunch of power to charge myself real quick. Um, let's turn that off. Once I finish charging and get out of here, it'll be a lot quicker because I won't, we won't have this horrendousness. Although it is flashing and it says it's not going really well, it looks like it's almost like max speed. It looks like it's almost completely unaffected. Uh, are you not producing enough coal? Okay, then let's get another miner in here. That might be part of our power problems is almost all of these are not getting power. So let's get one right there. And almost merge it into this belt here. Really? Oh my god. There. Make more power to or use more power to make more power. This one should be a lot faster. Once we get the power going, I think this will be like 240. And this is only 210, so it will be a little faster. Yeah, look at that, we're pulling out the whole bell here now. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's better. Better now we're getting there. Yeah, there we go. So we, just, we just need to make sure that, because this doesn't use that much. It uses like 60 a minute. 120 and the, the other 240 can go this way it's just it wasn't enough to start with there we go now we're up to the spec um, but yeah i think that's gonna be it for this episode uh, thank you guys for watching. I can't end up looking in the tree. Alright guys, thank you all for watching. And this has been an episode. I will see you next time.